never have too much Charizard. Hey everyone, it's me Joji, and today we're going to be taking a look at Charizard. And only Charizard, for the most part, in today's Pokemon TCG video. As many of you know, the Ultra Premium Collection Box for Charizard just came out. And with it, we got some awesome looking artworks like this one. Charizard B. And I believe Japan may have gotten this in some sort of special collection, but we got it in the UPC. But this is it. This is Charizard V. But not just this one. We also got two others. We got a Charizard V Max looking very kaiju with its breath out here, almost looking reminiscent of Godzilla. And then also Charizard V Star, as you can see here, it is fighting Mewtwo. And we'll probably see this card later when it comes out probably in crown zenith that just got announced but with these two we are going to be running a mostly charizard tech let's go over what else we have well we have a radiant charizard you know in case we want to pick up some easy knockouts over 250 and of course excited heat doing needing less energy on our pokemon and in order to us to effectively use our energy, we're running the Burn Brightly Charizard from Pokemon Go, which makes every single fire energy count as two. And this isn't limited to only on fire Pokemon, so you can put these onto something else if you need a retreat, like our 2 2 line of Babarel, which requires two, but if you have that Charizard Burn Brightly on and this has one energy attached to it, it can retreat for that single energy instead of the two required. Of course, as you can kind of see, this is going to be our draw support, including this Crobat V and Luminion to help us grab any supporters that will help us draw into things. Speaking of supporters, we are running 222 Marnie, Colress, and Boss's orders. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, why are we running Colress? Well, I didn't want to be using Professor's Research to discard my hand very often because there are a lot of resources in this deck that if they disappear, you're going to probably regret it later on in the match. So Colress, being able to see the five that you do get to see from the top of your deck, and then choosing from those five, three, I think is a better option. You can usually root out some cards that you think you won't need up for the matchup later. Now we are running for Magma Basin, this is going to help us attach to our Charizards fairly quickly. We run a single Lost Vacuum. Now this is sometimes to cycle cards out so we can use them a barrel. Other times we do need to get rid of some stadiums. Now as you kind of saw, we don't have a Charmeleon here in this line. It's a 2-2, just Charmander Charizard. So we're running Rare Candies. This is something I would say even if you're just playing stock up on some rare candies these are going to be very helpful come rotation now other than that everything else is pretty self-explanatory and then for our energy we are running three heat fire energies these add 20 hp to our pokemon so it can give maybe your opponent a bit more trouble when it comes to knocking out your pokemon and then just eight energy to round us out here at the end but this is the deck I've had some favorable matchups and some very unfavorable matchups. As you know, Palkia V-Star and Kyurem V-Max are very prevalent in the meta right now, so we are getting hit by weakness for both of our Charizard V-Star and V-Max. So that is something you need to be wary of. On the bright side, there are a couple of metal decks that we ran into, like Dialga, that we are going to be hitting for weakness. So let's get into some games and see if we can get into some unfavorable and favorable matchups just so we can see the dynamics of this deck. Possibly a Blissey or a Hisuian Zoroark. Maybe just an Arceus deck. Let's see, we won the coin flip. Now we are evolving most of our Pokemon, so we do want to go first and set them up fairly quickly. Uh, okay, I will take that kind of start. I think they'll know right off the bat what we're playing. We are decked out with Charizard VMAX sleeves, Charizard VMAX coin, and a Charizard 20th anniversary deck. <laughs> so there's a bit of Charizard here. Um, 
don't know what they're running yet. It could be Zorark. Let's get rid of boss for now. I think we want to set up our Bidoof here. Bit of lag. And I don't want to play up my Magma Basin just yet. Let's drop that there. I think we'll end. I think I should have used the quick to double check what we have in our deck, but that's fine. We'll, we'll work with this. All right. Single attach. Ooh, it is definitely Sui and Zoar Arc. That's why we have that, see that there. Okay, going straight back on to the field. Are we going to see possibly a Zoroark somewhere? Maybe they don't have it in hand? This is an odd play, I'd say. Marnie, okay, well that's a little disappointing. We do lose our Magma Basin. Maybe we'll draw into a Bibero. That might be great. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> you love seeing those top decks like that. But yeah, I do believe this is a Hisuian Zoroark, but they have not been able to set up the Zoroark itself. They have everything else except the Zoroark. Oh, it's probably incoming right now. Little finicky though, I'd say. Because, uh, oh, okay, no. Uh, Crobat first. Alright. Dark Acid, and then it'll get damaged. Did they grab their Zoroark? No, but they'll probably get, <laughs> grab it here. Let's see. What other Pokemon could they be getting? Maybe just two Zoroark. That's another possibility. So far, they are pretty well set up. I don't know if they got why they didn't play the Ranguru beforehand before using the damage pump. Uh, I don't remember what they played. I think they grabbed it for the Marnie instead. Yeah, it is two Hisuian Zoarks, so we are going to be a little bit in at an advantage, especially if we play our Heat Energy right. And if we maybe instead of using the V Star, try and use the V Max, might be a bit helpful here. I don't think they want. I think they want that Cape John Bonk there. Let's uh, let's do some stuff here first. I can single attach before I grab a supporter. Let's see what we draw into. Wow, there is the rest of our Magma Basin. I think we want to grab a Marnie. Yes, let's grab... I could grab Colrus, though. No. I feel like I should grab... I need to get my Charmander and then eventually Charizard up there. Hmm. Oh, we got the V Max, which is good. Could start going for their Charmander here though. I don't want to get rid of both of these Evo Incense, but that's a that's something we could do. I'm not too confident about that play though. Alright, I think that's where we end it, unfortunately. Hopefully next turn we can barrel into a rare candy and it maybe the other Evo Incense we're missing. don't see how they get out of this right now if they do play a, another bog I can just bump it with my basin oh there's a DTE going up do they have the retreat do they have the Zoro Arc V star that's another question And still primate wisdom as well oh there's an air balloon so they can just retreat for free there they are locked out of an aurora 
though. I don't think they would need that though. Oh, there is the gape jaw bog coming down again. Let's see, do they have it? They might not just, they might not even retreat if they don't have the V-Star ready. Ah, uh, well, another Marnie. I feel like we've played Marnies every single turn so far. Hmm. I don't know how, about how I feel about this, playing this V-Star. There is their V-Star. Ultra Ball. They do not have Knockout at the moment. They only have three damaged, which is good for us. Let's see, they're gonna use their V-Star power to draw seven. Could be. Are they doing this straight just 150? I would like to retort with the instant knockout here, but I don't think we can get the necessary energy onto it. Ooh. This might be helpful. I don't know if we'll need this other barrel. Let's get rid of this air balloon. Let's play up the V star. Hmm. Let's go get our five. Hopefully, we get. Oh, okay, I was getting worried there. Uh, that is actually perfect. Uh, downside is we cannot take the knockout just yet. That's precarious here. I definitely need a bog, or sorry, a magma basin. And I don't want to hit for claw slash because then they do have knockout on me. Hmm. I think we risk it. Give him the three prizes, unfortunately. Yeah, now they're going to be doing enough. Even if I hadn't knocked them out, I'm sure they could find a way. Maybe a damage pump. If they do play a damage pump this turn, they probably had a knockout regardless. Peony, ooh. Okay, they might be grabbing damage pump here. I can see them grabbing damage pump, moving some of these off onto something else. Yep, there it is. That's a good addition, I'd say. Peony, that helps you grab items like that and then you can just use your V-Star to draw back into a full hand. Ah, yeah, there it is. There is the scoop up to get... Oh, does that also reset Private Wisdom? I believe so, but I think they want to use their damage pump. Mm -hmm. If I had to guess, probably moving some off this one. Okay, no, just distributing. I suppose that's also an option. All right, there is the V-Star, like I said. And they are gonna have knockout here. They're gonna be doing a total of 300, 3,000. All right. Hoping we can get our V-Star powered up then. We just need two energy on it. If we can grab a Magma Basin and then attach uh, from hand, that should have Knockout on it. I'm hoping for a Heat though. We'll see here. We're gonna move up Upper Barrel first. There is that. All right, let's from hand I don't want to play this but I also want to draw cards <laughs> all right let's play it it's fine 
Oh, perfect. The magma basin. We will attach to here. Hmm. I could set up for the other Charizard now. I mean, I also expect it to get knocked out is the other thing. I only need to do the 230 damage from Explosive Fire, I believe. Actually, no, I need to do our V-Star. Oh, you know, I can do our 230. That would be way more than enough. Yeah, I think I, I although I do want to set up the other one. Let's get that going at least. We could go with the V-Max. Yeah. Let's do that. We can magma base into it next turn. All right. Choice belt. What else do we have? Fire energy. Okay. Let's see. They're probably putting this up. Do they have their other? Oh, they don't have their other Gengar. How many damage pumps have they used? Two. Okay. Let's see what they end up doing here. I could see them getting into a DTE and then putting something down and damage pumping, unless they have another Gape Job Bog. I think they've already played two of theirs, yes. They are taking a while to decide, though. Okay, there it goes. Do they have a DTE? And then do they have another way to get damage up? Let's see. Right now they're doing what is 230 they need to get another Pokemon down ah, okay here it comes yeah there goes the Dunsparce hmm they also don't have anything else set up which we could oh A minion. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? I'm very confused. Do they expect to have a knockout on this next one? Well, then I'm just going to continue with what I was going to do. Do I see, do I not see where they have game? Because if I knock this out. I think we're still in it and then they have nothing to retort with. I'm very confused as to why they did that. Maybe they expected me not to star blaze. Now they have nothing and we can just Grab some other two knockouts here fairly easily. Hmm. We'll have to see here. Do they have a way of... No, not even Gengar, I think, is a, an issue. If they try going for the Tremender, I'll just evolve it next turn. have to see here it could have been a misplay to be honest uh, they could have maybe instead have been wanting to pull up our Charizard the burn brightly one not too sure here 
I think we do need the boss to win here, though. They are digging. Hmm. Yeah, we need to get a boss next turn or else we will lose, I believe. Oh. What can they do to us with just a single DTE? Nothing, I believe. It'll probably just put up another one prizer. Okay, as expected. Okay, yeah, I think they're maybe banking on... On uh, next turn winning. Okay, I'm not gonna grab anything. What I will do is evolve this here. Just to thin out my hand. I don't need the Colress. I need to get this knocked out. I can do it with both. Charizard here, well, and I guess this Charizard here. Let's play that. Oh, I should have played the Heat Energy, to be honest. No. No boss. Let's play that. Let's see. Actually, let's dig with this. Did we have our other boss prize? No. Okay. They may have game here. To be honest now. Alright, let's just retreat into here. Explosive. Okay. Let's see if they do have game. Yeah, I needed a boss up this or the Crobat somehow. If they have the V-Star and Pokemon to play, I think they have game. Actually, even if they play a Pokemon, they might not have game. Let's see. Do they have enough? That would be doing 260. No, they do. I think I should have played the Heat Energy. That would have saved me the game, though. Ordinary Rod. I think they are digging to get that V-Star back into play. They just Primate Wisdom, right? They did. Yeah, they're trying to find that Hisuian Zoark somehow. Let's see, do they have an Ultra Ball? Or an Evo Incense? Have they played either? They've played Ultra Balls. I don't think they run Evo Incense. Yoni? Okay, they might have it here with this, grabbing an Ultra Ball. Unless they don't have any more Ultra Ball. Ah, there is an Evo Incense. Yep, they do have game here. They will evolve into Zorark V-Star and knock us out. Again, because again, I should have played the Heat Energy onto it. Uh, I think even with this, they have damage. That's unfortunate misplay on my part. I don't know if when they bossed up, if that was a misplay. It could have been. I feel like... Uh, them knocking out what was it our luminion was a weird one but that's all right yeah if we had a heat energy on there we would have uh won for sure but again you win some you lose some let's try another one okay let's see Ooh, charizard box mirror match oh <gasps> mirror match on the ladder Could be. <laughs> we are both using coins. Let's see what they end up playing. Oh, 
Are we both running a Charizard variant deck? Oh, they're doing an Arceus style one. Well, that's okay. Uh, let's do that. Let's discard the air balloon. Mm. Let's get rid of the Radiant Zard. And Crobat for two. You can Crobat for three, actually. Let's do that. Four. Mmm. All right. I think we end there. See how quickly they can get their Pokemon set up. I'm gonna sign for. You got the show. You reveal it. Yep. Okay. Boss. Odd. Are they moving up this Charizard? Or are they preparing for a different turn? Single fire attach. Ooh. Brutal. Brutal indeed. Yeah, if I had to guess, they're probably moving. Okay, yep. So it looks like they're setting up for a next turn. Hmm. Rust first. Charmander, I like that. I love the Magma Basin. Uh, I would definitely hate to lose another one. Oh, I would definitely hate to lose an energy. Oh, but I also like that quick ball. Alright, let's do that. Let's play that there. I don't have anything discarded as of yet, but I will now. Grabber Bidoof. Hmm. I guess I could. No, I, I kind of want to save that. Let's just single attach. Play a Magma Basin. Drop one onto here. I think we'll end there for now. Maybe should have attached the Heat Energy. But we'll see what ends up happening here. Ooh, okay. It is a slow turn for them. Trinity Charge onto the Luminion. Or are they just shuffling their deck, maybe? Oh, no. They're attaching to itself. Ooh, it was four. I think they went a little crazy there with the, the attachments, but sure. Ooh, that is, I should definitely always check. You know what? Always check your cards with some sort of search and search item because uh, you will find out that one of your cards you need may be prized. That was a close one. Good thing we run two. All right. Let's get that there. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Do I think it's a good idea? I could get something better. No, let's go with that. Mm, okay. Let's drop a choice belt onto it. I could also Marnie, but it seems like their hand's pretty bad. Can't I knock it out with 220? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Uh, this only counts for one. I should have waited for uh, something better. I could always go with this one. Wait, right? No. Good morning. And hopefully get something good. I think that's a good idea. I need one of the V stars. Uh, I could get it now, actually. Yes, I can definitely get it now. 
All right, let's get rid of actually this Charizard and an energy. Mm, yes. I do want this one. Right? Yes, I do want this one. And I want to single attach here. If I evolve here, it can attack, but only do 130. Or I could just V-Star and knock it out. Right? No, because it only has technically two. So let me actually evolve this one and then retreat this one. All right, that is the correct one. And now this one does 230 for knockout. <laughs> Definitely has a low start on their part. I will have to take a look and see what their list is because it is a very slow list. I'm glad, uh, well I did Marty, but I'm, I'm glad that they didn't draw anything good in the beginning. Uh, Moltres. What the heck is this Moltres doing here? Okay. Very interesting deck here. Ooh, Magma Basin, yeah. Cynthia's Ambition. Looks like they're expecting to get knocked out. Crushing Hammer. This might be a, like a smorgasbord of different cards. There is the Charizard V, finally. Getting it going. Hmm. It's a little mean of me, but <laughs> things must be done. Unfortunately. Let's go ahead and boss up that Charizard you just put. I'm also gonna start setting this guy up more. I don't know if you'll concede here, but uh, you know, you never know. You just wanna be ready, just in case. Hmm. Get rid of, actually not the heat, the regular basic in this. Follow this into the VMAX. I think it is definitely them running some sort of Charizard V Star V Max deck, but not the best. I, I do like the Arceus start, but they didn't have anything to back it up with. It kind of fizzled out in the beginning there. I forgot what they grabbed. They grabbed the boss's orders off the Luminion. They obviously should have gotten the professor's research, maybe lost that hand. Which, to be honest, didn't seem that great, to be honest. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, their play should have been to grab a professor's research instead of the boss's orders. Maybe their hand was just too good. Ooh, this is not good. Oh, well, <laughs> never mind. It just kind of fizzled. Uh, how many air balloons do I have left? I have one attached. Did I? Okay, I didn't discard the other. Out of safety, because I don't know if I'll be able to get out. Attach there. Ooh. This is a sticky situation. We do need that other air balloon. I still don't know if I had it. Oh, <laughs> speak of the air balloon. Hooray. All right, retreat. We'll go into this Charizard here. Let's grab our single card from the barrel. Mm, I don't need that right now. I'm gonna waste it. Let's get our knockout. Yeah, they. I don't know if they, their whole plan was to use only that Arceus to attach. But uh, it is a good way, but hopefully they're also running th at least the, the Burn Brightly as a backup. Uh, maybe a 2-2 two -two line of that and a 2-2 two -two line of Arceus would be good. All right, yeah, because either way here, I th they've lost. They're kind of going through, look. Oh, 
well that's okay uh they're kind of going through the motions here um but that's fine uh, this is the first time i've seen this really played at all um sure i guess it kind of a waste of space to be honest i guess you could get rid of it with thornton but still a little weird to see this ever get played escape rope um yeah they are definitely just going through motions here but I, i'm curious to see what this deck is i'll probably take a look at it afterwards uh let's just go with well played not the best charizard v star or v max deck i've seen uh, you probably should go with mine i'm just saying <laughs> Ooh, lightning box hmm maybe a vicavolt or possibly just a, a guise for something else uh that's not a good start it's pretty close to a good start but maybe a red candy would have been nice and a charmander obviously badoof starts is okay i'm not gonna play the zard yet hmm i might have to grab a second badoof depending on what they flip i have a good deck i think they saw the charizard let's see what they're playing Sobble. Interesting. Let's get some of these out of here. Let's grab a Charmander. Drop it. Ultra. Away these two. I think I will get a Crobat. We do have our Luminion. I just want to double check things again. We're missing a Choice Belt. Okay. Oh, you know what? I can go for five instead. Hopefully Charizard. Charmander is good too. Hmm. I will hold on to this. As much as I want to set up a Charizard now, this won't do us much good. So, one there. No energy attached, unfortunately, but that's okay. Jolteon. I forget what this one's VMAX does. Sobble. I guess we could maybe try bossing this up. Hmm. Another Jolteon. Path is not a big deal unless we want to play Luminion. That is a big deal. Unfortunate. Hmm. All right. Well, hopefully we get a Barrel or maybe Charizard. Okay, we got a Charizard, but we also only have the Luminion. Uh, let's drop that there. Let's see if we can grab something from Marty. Magma Basin would be good too. Ooh, that is a very good hand. Uh, let's trap our other Charizard down. Magma Basin. Uh, let's start powering up here. As much as I want to grab Charizard, I kind of want to grab a barrel. Because we do need the draw. And maybe we'll just draw into Charizard. You never know. We have three here. I was, <laughs> I was joking. But thank you, game. Uh, we're going to retreat. Actually, if he wants to take a knockout, he can have our Zard here, which we can technically power up as well. I think it does damage to the bench, if I remember correctly. We don't need that anymore, which is fine for us. Yeah, it does damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Ooh. They weren't able to do anything. Not good for them. Possibly good for us. Hmm. 
Do we boss or coal rest? Let's industrious incisors, see if we can get a magma basin. No magma. Industrious incisors was bust, but it looks like this isn't. I'm gonna grab the boss and the energy. Actually, no, the Marnie. But I don't want to lose either of those. I can, I'm willing to lose the energy. And we can start powering up our other Charizard here. And then we end. Looks like they're missing energy. And honestly, I don't know why they haven't been able to get their Drizzile up. Okay. We can start getting our Pokemon up here. Let's go with our V-Star. Set this up here. I feel like I need to hard retreat this at this point. Let's do that, I guess. If we do get the air balloon, we can retreat that way too. Oh, hey, we can uh, magma base them once more. <laughs> Or no, no, sorry, I forgot. We don't have anything in our discard. You need to have something in your discard. No, that's fine. As of right now, they don't have anything set up. Level ball, okay. Drezel looks like they're gonna start grabbing their Inteleon engine. Let's see what they go for. Path of the Peak once more. How many paths? Is this is their last path? Was that our last magma? No. Okay. So we'll be left with the last one. Um. Hmm. I don't know why they did that. They just gave me a free knockout. Uh. Oh, okay. I see. I forgot about the elemental badge. Uh, but now it does look like it's going to be able to attack for free. This uh, would have been so helpful the turn before. <laughs> so let's see where they put those 100 damage. If I had to guess, probably on this Charizard here. Or maybe a barrel? How many, how much retreat cost? Okay, I was wondering if that Jolteon VMAX had zero retreat cost. It looks like it does, so they can do that. Let's see what they go with though. They can also stop this engine here. So they have a few options. Okay, so it looks like they are going for the other one here. Uh, bright side, <laughs> not knocked out. Uh, downside is I have to hard retreat this here. Uh, let's get rid of the Charmander. We will not draw anything. I can, I can, yeah, I can star blaze. Let's attach here. Industrious incisors. Let's get our VMAX out now. Make it a little tougher. Hmm. Star Blaze, discard one. And we can take our three prizes. Not helpful, pretty helpful, and actually very helpful. <laughs> I didn't realize it was prized. <laughs> Not that it matters. Again, I don't think I'll need Luminion. Uh, I could use it, but yeah, I do have Knockout in this next turn on this Jolteon. 
Mm, a tool scraper for no reason, it looks like. Yeah, I think what they should have done last turn is realize this whole deck is very dependent on the Charizard. So uh, knocking this out would have been very detrimental to me. But as of right now, it looks like uh, we do have game. We'll have to see. You have something in my eye. It's probably just a little dust. <clears throat> oh, we can power through it though. Not really. And now it's the other one. <laughs> uh, ooh, the Marnie's uh, okay, actually. No, wait, we lose the Magma Basin. Uh, we don't need it. Hmm. Trying to blink it out. Quick shooting. Okay. Uh, not a big deal. Maybe they're banking on me not being able to uh, attack next turn for knockout. But we can retreat into the other one. All right, you know what? One quick second. All right, in that time, it looks like they grabbed an Avery. Uh, did not knock me out, but they did knock out the Bibero. Again, we do have game. We just retreat into here, play this, give him a well played, and G-Max Wallfire for knockout. I haven't seen a Jolteon in a long time <laughs> on the ladder, but it looks like Charizard beats it with no problem. So that is gonna be it for the purely Charizard, for the most part, deck. And honestly, I love it. Um, it's very fun uh, to do really huge numbers uh, for very little energy, technically. Uh, two to three energy, and you can use, again, the G-Max Wildfire for 300, or you can use Star Blaze for 320. It is a damage monster, to be honest. And honestly, I mean, it's Charizard. It does have a reputation for being very popular for a reason. Um, Maybe they'll do that for Blastoise someday. I don't know. The better Pokemon. Uh, but regardless, it is Charizard V. I think this is a very good deck. Uh, there are some kinks to it. Again, it is very reliant on this Charizard to power up. We did see that Arceus one, which didn't do well. I would say it definitely needed this to help it power up. But there are versions of the V Max or the V Star going around that use Arceus as the energy engine. So you can do that if you'd like, but keep in mind, you probably want to stick to one or the other and not both. You could do both, but they are both powerhouses in their own right. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments about this deck. I think it's definitely worth giving a try, especially if you're a Charizard fan or you're just wondering what can I do with this stuff from the Charizard UPC? Well, try making this deck. And if you want to try making that deck, it's going to be down in the description. You can get this exact deck into PTCGO as long as you have the cards. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like. Again, comment down below what you thought of this deck. And don't forget to subscribe for more deck videos. We have tons upcoming. We even had the Mew VMAX League Battle Deck upgrade coming up when it releases in November 11th. So maybe the week following. But we have tons of stuff going towards the end of this year. Anyways, guys, as always, stay safe and thanks for watching.